All right, here we go. Three, two, one. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship, zooming through. Welcome to the After the Message podcast. We are super excited that you're here today. My name is Wesley. I'm your host, and I'm here with my pastor, your pastor, our pastor, the guy, the man, the myth, the legend, Pastor Jeff. Thank you so much for being here on the podcast. <laughs> What's up, Wes? How are you doing, sir? <laughs> You're such a goober. <laughs> uh, dude, I, we might make this. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you today about some important things. You ready? Yeah. First question see. I have. Yeah. All right. So the important question I have for you, Pastor Jeff, is last night you talked about humility. Don't be a dummy. Things like that. You said some nice things. Um, but basically, the question from our student is, how can I be a humble Christian leader in my school? Humility, I mean, we looked at the definition of humility last night. It was a modest or low view of one's importance, right? And so if you want to be a humble Christian leader, well, first off, um, one, be a Christian. Uh, That's a good like, first step. I mean, it, that is the first step. Look to honor God with everything you do. Um, you know, I mean... That's that's the first step of that. Um, Christian literally means little Christ, so be a little Christ. Jesus was all about reaching the lost, um, finding the lost. And and so if you want to be a Christian in your school, first and foremost, um, it's not about, oh, I only hang out with my friends who know Jesus. It's about getting outside your comfort zone and introducing others to Jesus um, because Jesus was all about the good news and the kingdom of God. So there's that. Then the humble side of it, if you want to be a humble Christian leader, uh, it's looking at others and giving them more importance than yourself, looking out for their interests. You know, I mentioned last night that that it's about um, being selfless and looking out for someone else's interests over your own. Serving people is one of the greatest ways that you can do that. Oh, hey, I'm at lunch, and they're finished with their their lunch tray. Hey, can I take that for you? You're serving them. You're humbling yourself. You're actually, in that moment, giving them more importance because you are serving them. Um, That's really good. Those are some ways, like some practical ways. It's, It's really having that intentional mindset that you are invaluable, but you're placing more importance on other people. Mm, That's good. That's great, Pastor Jeff. So bouncing off the first thing that you said, how can, what is a conversation that students can have? Like what is a conversation starter, I guess that you could say that the students could bring if they're trying to invite someone to youth or something along those lines? Turn or burn. There you go. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. That is not an effective way of reaching people. Um, (laughs) I'm just kidding. It's not effective to get on your lunch table with the Bible and scream turn or burn or you know, the end is near, you're going to hell. You know, that sort of stuff doesn't work. No. Um, loving people, genuinely loving people, not in a relationship like, oh, hey, I want to date you type loving way, but like genuinely showing care and empathy and sympathy for people, being there for them. Um, man, that's one of the greatest ways that you can show Christ. Uh, God is love. And so if you want to show God, show love. Um, and then outside of that, man, it's, Tell them what Jesus has done in your life. Um, your testimony is one of the most powerful things in the world because no one can argue with your testimony. They can't argue with who you were before Christ and who you are now that you know Christ. Like, there is no argument there. Mm-hmm. Um, and so if you just simply share your story of, hey, before Christ, man, I I did drugs, I drank, I whatever your story is, but man, Christ came into my life and I've realized I don't need those things. Like he fulfills me. He brings joy into my life. Like I don't need those things. And, and through this relationship, my relationship with my parents has gotten better. Like I have more friends. My grades have gone up. Like all of the stuff that is a byproduct of walking with Christ. Um, not saying that he will automatically make your grades be better, but like just when you're walking with Christ, life is better. Um, and so I think that's one of the greatest ways that you can share Jesus is just share your story. Mm -hmm. Um, another easy way is just invite them to church, you know, and be genuine. That's people want genuine. They don't want this, you know, pompous thing or they, they don't want this pretend thing. Hey, I don't. I don't really like you very much, but if you want to <laughs> yeah. come to our youth group, my pastor said I had to invite you. So. Or, or you need Jesus. Come to church with me. Like, yeah. But, but be genuine about it and just like 
showed genuine care that if they don't come to know Jesus, they're going to spend eternity in hell. Like as a Christian, that should break your heart because I mean, it breaks God's heart. Right. You know, so um, to be a little Christ means that you hurt for what he hurts for and he hurts for the loss. Mm -hmm. Um, And I mean, inviting people to church really is as easy as, Hey, you know, um, I'd love if you came to church with me. One of the things I'm reading the book right now, Start With Why by Simon Sinek. And man, great book. Highly recommend it. I'm not actually reading it. I'm listening to it because I got the audio book. Same, same thing, right? Um, yes, it's the same thing. It's same content. And actually, it's him reading it. So it's pretty cool. Um, I love when the author reads the book on mm-hmm. the audio books. Um, but I'm listening to this book right now. And and it's all about how you frame it. We've had conversations in the past couple of days about uh, the framing effect, mm-hmm. right? And um, and it, it really is all about how you frame it. If you come up to someone and you're like, hey, you know, um, maybe would you want to go to church sometime? Or, hey, if, if you're available, maybe you could come to church. Like, why would they go to church with you? I mean, you have not given them a reason. Like you're you're asking them the what, but you're not giving them the why. Right. And if you start with why, I mean, think of an example here. Um, a simple one, because there's food. Yeah. I if, mean, if you have no yeah, other like, yeah, oh, just, there's messages that are great. If yeah. you can't come up with anything else, be like, oh, because I know you guys are out there buying tons of food all the yeah, time. Not only that, but first time guests get to go to the VIP. They get free food. Mm-hmm. Uh, the person who brought free them. Drinks. Yeah, get, gets to go there for free food, free drinks. And um, so, I mean, but like, but you start with that why of mm-hmm. just like, hey, you know, God's really changed my life. I'd love if you come check it out. Or, you know, like, um, hey, you want some free food? Like, yeah, I want some free food. Man, come to church with me. You're you're starting with the why there, and and I mean you could get a lot more deep than that. Right. Um, a lot deeper, a lot more deep. I think it's deeper. Potato, uh, tomato. Uh, those are two totally different words. Potato, potato, tomato soup. Potato, tater tots. Okay. Oh, anyways, I'm hungry. I <laughs> me too, man. All right. Um. So yeah. Anyways, just. Nike, just do it. Just do it. There he is. There he goes. <laughs> it's, go back to podcast two if you haven't heard that yet. There you go. All right. Thank you so much. I have another pass. I have another pastor for you. I have another question <laughs> for you, Pastor Jeff. Are you ready for it? No. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening in to the after the message podcast. No, I got one more question. Is that all right? Yep. If there was anything you could have said to your students that you didn't say, what would you say? Well, that that's tricky because in middle school I cut half the message because I ran out of time. Um, so middle I wish I, I wish I could have said half the message to them, um, the other half of the message. Um, I think you know I I said this, but I think I would have. I wish I had more time to really look at this. Um, the only place to find your identity and meaning is in Christ, and the only way to do that is by humbling yourself and serving. Uh, serving unlocks your significance. Mm. So really looking at that and looking at how, you know, we are designed to serve others. Like God created us to serve others. And it's not human nature to serve others. It's not human nature to humble ourselves. Um, But when we do, you know, a lot of times we chase identity in the things we do in the sport we play or the job we have or you know the relationship we're in or the car we drive or whatever um the school we go to um we we chase our meaning and our identity we try to find it in those things but really our identity is found in christ and it's found when we follow his example and we humble ourselves and we serve other people so that's i wish i could have uh gotten into that a little more last night i love it it's powerful stuff well sweet thank you so much pastor jeff i have a question for you i know i said it was the last question so i have a statement that you can answer in a question does that work is that fine sure great thank you so much i don't even know what that means is there i don't know i'll figure (laughs) it out i guess you'll figure it out too is there a challenge that we can give our middle schoolers to challenge the high schoolers potentially um, actually, I do have a challenge for all of our students, everyone listening to this podcast. 
uh, December 17th, 18th, and 19th are Christmas services for the weekend. Uh, my challenge to you is maybe you don't, maybe you aren't at a point where you are going to invite your friends or your teachers or whoever to church. Uh, bring your family. Come come check out a weekend service. Bring your family. Um, it's going to be an amazing weekend. My challenge is that you come uh, to one of our services for Christmas, um, not the weekend of Christmas, but the week before uh, December 17th, 18th, 19th. And come to our weekend services, bring your family with you, and uh, check it out. That's my challenge. Awesome. Sweet. Thank you very much, Pastor Jeff, for your time. It was awesome. Again, if you need more information on that, go to elementchurch.com. You guys can find your information there of when those services are. Thank you guys so much. Speak much? I know, dude. Crazy. Thank you so much for listening to the After the Message podcast. We were super excited that you listened in. If you guys have any questions for Pastor Jeff, please email us at ey at elementchurch.com. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. Boom.